Good afternoon, welcome to the kitchen. <laughs> Give a sing this. No, a, music, a, 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 music, music. a musical version. <laughs> we do a Greece musical in September. And we do a Start musical, singing our way to A musical recipe live. Be like Moulin Rouge, won't it? We'll burst into song. And, and, oh. and, or, or like um, Alan Stardust. What's it called? Oh, Alan, Alan Styler. Styler. Alan Styler, yes. Yeah, Alan Styler Styler, isn't it? In yes. New York, where literally all the waiters and waitresses. Waiting song. Yeah. Anyway. Hi. Hi. We're doing Prawn Nocky. I'm very, very excited. Hello, Louise. How are you? Hello. Um, this, um, this is like, since Emma shared this recipe with me, I can't get enough of it. <laughs> Probably should hold back, really. Hi, Karen. How are you? Um, so, um, Hi, yes, ingredients today. Um, I was asked last time uh, when we did the chicken sweet and sour, oh, how much chicken do you use? And I thought, oh, we probably never say. We've we just not been go. sharing recipes like that for a while, have we? <laughs> we used to share the recipe cards. Well, we, everything else was verbal. We forgot to say how much chicken. Okay. So, we're going to make a point now of saying how much of everything we're putting in everywhere. Are we? We are. Okay. Thanks for that. Heads up. Because <laughs> I just thought of it then. Anyway, first things first, spicy prawn, spicy spinach and tiger prawn gnocchi. Do tiger prawns come with stripes? Gnocchi, apparently. What? Do tiger prawns come with stripes? Bam, 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 bam. She's here all week. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, apparently it's gnocchi with an edge Who's talking about that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Have you just made Some it up? Italian. <laughs> Oh, okay. But I prefer gnocchi or nookie. <laughs> nookie is what we have prefer, nookie, I believe. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that is a nookie. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to go through the ingredients first or are we doing that? No, we let's do it as we go because otherwise we'll bore ourselves. Don't let us forget, people. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget. Right. So, first of all, boil a kettle. I could do that job. Um, and I'm going to dissolve, dissolve corn flour. Corn flour. Now, the amount of corn flour is two, two teaspoons. Two teaspoons of corn flour. Dissolved in a jug of 50 ml of cold water. Oh. The kettles for the gnocchi. Oh no, it's not. It's the, the vegetable stock. It's the something. Right, so two teaspoons. I'm going to get me 50 ml of water in my jug because I'll get confused. Where's your shot glass? Oh, it's still in the wrong place. It's still in the house. Found the best shot glass ever. Yeah, but I love it. It's in the house and then that doesn't make it over here. So, this recipe is uh, really nicely balanced in terms of its protein, its carbs and its fat. I think it's important to recognise that we need carbohydrates, all of us, but some of us need less than others and some of us don't respond as well to others depending on The amount of starch or sugar in these uh, in the carbohydrates. So the only, I guess, caveat I would say with this one is if you are um, this shallot seems small. I might do it. Um, it's only one shallot you need. Is that a shallot? That's my lot. Shallot. <laughs> shallot. Not um, um, is all I will say that if you are um, struggling with controlling your blood sugars, then I would probably half the amount of um, gnocchi, gnocchi, but I'm going to really struggle with that word now. It's just say gnocchi. Yeah, gnocchi. I'm going to really struggle. Um, so I would the half the amount. P of swimming. <laughs> yes. I, would, I would half the amount and uh, had out the rest with a um, vegetable noodle, like a, a squash noodle or a. Um, what are you saying? Halving the amount of gnocchi in yeah, the dish yeah, for if somebody you, if you're that is controlling their controlled. blood sugars right, okay. um, or type two diabetic or prone to be type two diabetic, right, and I'd bulk okay. it out with a courgette or a carotini or a so boudoir with a button yeah. of squash or a, or even a, a swoodle, a swede. It's only because you wanted to say swoodle, isn't it? Yeah. Um, right, so my noodles. <laughs> oh, diamonds. <laughs> yes. Um, so uh, I've done two teaspoons of corn flour, 50 ml of water. I'm then adding a vegetable stock cube, which just happens to be a liquid form for this time, and topping that up 
with more uh, with is it 200 ml 200 ml of hot water hot water um you what? only use 75 ml if you're using it for one person um we are yeah this is based on two people we'll just go through we'll do this as two people shall not we yeah. Ooh, hello um so i'm just dissolving the vegetable stock cube whilst emma finally dices with the it's shallot really which is good nice. But it's amazing. It is only one shallot, but it looked to be but quite. I was decided for um, two today. It looks to be quite uh, small. So dicing the shallots. Yeah, she's dicing the shallots. I do like the shallots. It's got a nicer, really nice flavour. Oh, it's a strong one. It's going to give me the one eye. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we're going to fry the shallot because Emma's going to go on to chop some garlic. I'm giving you. Hi, Ali. How are you? Um, Ooh, going nice to. There. Um, going to go on to uh, fry garlic and shallot. So it's three garlic cloves you're going to um, I'm going to chop got, or crush. I've got, have you got your crusher here or is it in the kitchen? Um, no, I will, I will yes. crush them garlic because just because this knife is really rubbish. <laughs> I need to get some new knives. Maybe I'll invest in some new knives. Maybe we should. For here. There's just some, it's not finely diced. I don't like that one, it's a bit tired. So is that one and a half? You That's just one done? and a half. Right. So, um, three cloves of garlic in a frying pan. Now, the recipe actually says to put in a uh, one and a half tablespoons of oil, but that seems like way too much for me. So, I'm going to try just one teaspoon. What do you think? You're going to be like right on the edge now, aren't you? Right on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would reduce that. I would reduce that olive oil too, because you can always add. Can't oh, take away. Oh, it's <laughs> so, a teaspoon of olive oil is what I'm adding to the pan, rather than a tablespoon and a half. Just seems a lot. It just seems a lot. It's very odd. Maybe it's going to be this time. Don't know. Well, olive oil, as we know, is a better fat for us than any of the seed oil <clears> or vegetable oils. So, if you are Currently, someone who uses vegetable oils, sunflower oils, those kind of oils, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. <laughs> please stop. Yeah, they it, it, they are absolutely killing us. Yeah, there's, a, there's, a, there's a lot of studies. Use there's a, yeah, there's studies. a lot of studies, isn't there? As in that those oils are actually harmful to your metabolic health, okay. to cells. Yeah. So even brain health, inflammation, yeah. um, heart disease, it's a, it becomes a trans, it, yeah, when it's chemically, when it's heated, it changes its chemical structure. So yeah, so, and if you can, try not to use the spray oils. The only way I would use a spray is if I would, um, if I would trans, transport that into a, a spray container of my own. As in use olive yeah. oil in the spray. Yeah. But even those ones that you get that are oh, it's good job you've got good biceps. <laughs> How do you get good biceps, Emma? Oh, that's an interesting question. <laughs> why don't we try strength training? <laughs> and why do we need strength training, Emma? Because if we don't have <laughs> if we don't have any muscles, then we will have no meta metabolism, and we will have nothing to burn our food off. Yes. <laughs> There is an advantage to having a muscle, not only is it aesthetically pleasing, when when I've got, I've got a couple of muscles that have just started to pop, haven't they? Yes. Um, which is very exciting. In a good way. <laughs> yes, pop in a good way. I've been showing through my uh, my arms. Um, oh, it's taken five years to get there, to be fair. It's taken me 20. <laughs> um, but, um, so, but what's really satisfying is not only being able to see a bit of arm de definition that I've never in my life had before, that also um, I know that that muscle is burning a few extra calories. Yes, are they going to get that one? Yeah, they are. Shut and garlic. Nice combo. Right, excuse me, sorry, I'm just going to stir. So, yes. We so also need to add the whole tomatoes at this stage. 110 grams. Plop, plop. Which is actually uh, seven cherry tomatoes. That's an extra bit of skin. skin. <laughs> Not yours. No, <laughs> Gosh, did anyone. Oh no, I'm going to start. Any, you know I mean? Did anybody see the program the other night that I thought was real? We all thought was that I thought was real. So did other people. Uh, about human meat production. No. From human flesh. It was Greg Wallace. 
apparently it was a mockumentary. I don't care either way. It was so weird. Because until they it. said that the premium meat was made from seven year olds and under, I thought I, I, they actually almost had me believing that it was a factory in Lincoln. What was that for? Chance I, thought, I don't know what I don't know. I don't know what it was for, but it was oh. just really weird. That sounds extremely weird. Yeah. Right, so we've got we're cooking to five for five to seven minutes. Um stir occasionally until softened. And I would stop boiling the first in the water because I don't want to do some five to seven minutes really for the knock Well, later. We need to I will stop putting that in the water. Well we need to <laughs> Right, now this is a question. Getting prawns out of the fridge. And I always detail them. Detail. You don't. You eat that crispy tail bit on a corn, don't you? Yeah, right. Because you're not cut. So you stay in the fridge. They don't have to have them. Right, they do look. Oh, yeah. Right. So, how many corns have we got? Uh, 200, 200 grams of raw corn. Right. Okay, so these ones aren't raw just because I was speeding everything up. We've actually got cooked. So you see the crusty tiny bit there, so I would squeeze that off. Most Whereas, normal people do, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas, and this is what we can have to spend a couple of minutes doing. Okay. But Emma actually eats that bit too, don't we? Yeah, because it's... What? It's hot, I don't know, I've always have. I'm not saying it's wrong, I'm saying that... Just call but, me Daryl Hannah from Splash. How <laughs> 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 oh, you slip here. Like a song. Um... So yeah, so literally, oh, I didn't do the, I didn't follow instructions either. I didn't start boiling the water. I started detailing the prawns. I know. <laughs> and you said, "I'm saying, no, I got sidetracked by the prawns." And I'm just letting the water boil, just because we always end up like watching paint dry. Yeah. Was that interesting? Um, so yeah, so uh, these are king prawns. Um, as I said, these ones are. Cooked, oh, um, or in frozen. Uh, I always use raw ones at home. Well, they're, they're, but, yeah, so these, these are just from the, the freezer at the Hollies, and there are raw ones and there are cooked ones. Um, obviously, if you've got raw, okay. raw ones, then um, they will take a bit longer to cook. And if you don't like prawns, you could always use chicken. And if you don't like chicken, if you've got a pan there, you can. Facial awareness, then I'll have to get it. So we're going to oh, add um, oregano flakes, no, oregano and chili flakes to uh, the pan and some apple cider vinegar. Apple cider vinegar, great for uh, gut health. Fermented with the mother, we've talked about that before. Yeah, but just in case anyone didn't see that, what is the relevance of a live mother? <laughs> Apart from the obvious. Um, so that it actually helps your live microbiome, your good bacteria in your gut, otherwise it's just vinegar. <laughs> so it needs a culture. We all need to be cultured. <laughs> yeah, that's the only one I get. Um, <laughs> too soft. Is that what is that what that means? Yes. You're not you're not a lobster. Yeah, And I guess if you don't like, I love whole tomatoes, and I like I like popping them in the pan. Um, but if you don't, then chop your tomatoes. Very personally, don't have to. Very personal. <laughs> now these these actually work quite well because they cook for quite a while. They just sort of squash themselves anyway, don't they? This actually becomes like a broth, really, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and the um, don't ask me five minutes. It's a um, teaspoon. Yeah. It's a teaspoon of dried oregano. Teaspoon. And mm-hmm. half a teaspoon of red chili flakes, depending on I guess what uh, what strength. You have. Right. So this is just looking like this now. All the garlic and the onions are softened. As you can see, the tomatoes are actually starting to squash themselves. Didn't need a popper. Emma doesn't need to pull all and pop it. Don't pop it. Half a um, teaspoon. Don't now, look. Stop looking. I can't. My, <laughs> she's a nightmare. My lips. You actually don't need tips. One, one for the mother. 
Right, so Emma likes things really, really hot. Um, hi Rebecca, how are you okay? Um, Emma, li Emma likes them uh, really, really hot. And I, my lips go on fire with chilli flakes. So when it comes to eating this, it'll be interesting. A tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. We like willies! <laughs> Indeed we do. So uh, yeah, tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Stirring all this together. And then it's my corn flour and you're ready for your mixture. Oh. 30 seconds apparently. One, two. Three, four. Thirty seconds of those. Thirty seconds, just letting it absorb. Oh, I keep getting in the back of my throat. Well, it's too. Um, right, so yes, yeah, so I'm gonna. We now add... have shallots, one off. Garlic cloves, three off. Tomatoes, one hundred and ten grams off. Yep. A concoction of uh, two teaspoons of corn flour, fifty ml of cold water. A stock cube and 200 ml of hot sauce. It's like medicine then. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, oh, that wasn't very well. Right. Tablespoon, no, tablespoon, a teaspoon of oregano, origami, half a, well, chili flakes to taste, and a tablespoon of uh, apple cider. Right, so that now looks like this liquid. So now we leave that on the heat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, we leave that on the heat, and um, no, it didn't. Oh, yes, did that. Yeah. I meant that. Um, and that will thicken up. And it, it just, yes, gets me very excited, this broth does. So, Yinoki, this one is a gluten free one actually. It is made Sorry. of potato. Hi, Sean. Um, Hello, Sean. It is made with potato and uh, flour. So it is, a, it is a carbohydrate, but it's more dumpling. In uh, in texture, um, it's kind of got a chewy chewy taste to it. I really like uh, gnocchi. In fact, um, whether there's a difference between, you know, if you're going into nitty gritty between you know wholemeal pasta versus you know gluten free gnocchi in terms of blood sugar spiking, I would say treat them both both the same. So as I say, if you're struggling with controlling blood sugars. Um, you still need carbohydrates, I wouldn't fear them, but I would use half the amount that it says and pad it out with um, courgette or carotini, as I say, a vegetable, a vegetable noodle. And they literally take a couple of minutes, don't they? They take two to three minutes until they float. Yeah, they float to the top when they're ready. That's quite good, isn't it? Uh, in terms of how much, you know, 250 grams, perfectly portioned between two people. Perfectly portioned? Which? If I look at that, if I'm really honest, I'd have bought that off the shelf and probably wanted all of it. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So I have to kind of go from mm, half. And actually, when it's all served, it's absolutely well, fine. <laughs> but well, looking at it, my visual goes. Mm, that's yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. It does inflate itself a little bit as well, doesn't it? So we're simmering this water. Oh, no, we're not it all over. And we're going to add the prawns and simmer for six to eight minutes. But of course, these are not uh, raw prawns. They are cooked already, so these will just need to be tossed in at the end to warm through. But if you're using raw, raw prawns, then um, six to eight minutes simmering in this um, broth. So can and you tell us what's good about prawns then? Yeah, you can eat the tails. <laughs> uh, prawn a really lovely source of protein, but also really lean in terms of low in fat, so or low in saturated fat. So they are a great way to um, stay satiated. That's what protein does. Protein is what helps build and repairs our cells and they are the building blocks of life. We need to eat a good 25 to 30 grams of protein per meal. And that's particularly, you've said before, about Particularly over the age of women. 40 yeah. and definitely over 50. We're not very good at it. Obviously we want to keep our, our saturated fats to a healthy minimum so that we're not gaining fat um, in our arteries and our bodies and laying it down um, so our body composition stays good in terms of muscle to, to fat ratio. We need fat. I wouldn't cut anything out. I don't cut carbs out of my, my own diet. Um, and then we've got a spinach which Some goes fridge. in at the end. We need to put the knocking. Okay, we need. Okay, there was a sense of urgency there. Did you feel that sense of. We need to cook the knocking. Uh, Hi, Louise. 
spinach is 160 grams. Right, so, so uh, into a pan of salted boiling water, I'm now placing a pack of gnocchi. It's actually 250 grams of gnocchi, so we end up with 225 each. Can I do the max? I'm going to put those in there because they're only two to three minutes and these are really cold, so I don't really want co-wheeled prawns. Oh no. Right, so as you can see, the sauce is thickened, the tomatoes are squashed down, and we've got a really nice, thick, brothy sauce. I'm very excited. You're excited? Excited to dance? Um, whether I get through it now that Emma's at... Was that you drying your hands? Yeah, that's <laughs> um, Whether I get through it now, you've made it so hot. I'm joking. More for me. <laughs> <laughs> True story. Um, so yeah, so the chilli flakes, obviously you can add less if you don't like it too hot and uh, increase it as Emma does. You could put a different, you, could, you know, you could make it Cajun, you could make it jerk. Yeah, <laughs> jerk. You could make it Vegeta flavour. Right, so we're going to wait for the gnocchi to rise, to float to the top. Float. So that will float to the top when that's ready, which is approximately two minutes. The prawns are now in here warming so through because they were cooked prawn, so they're only having a couple of minutes instead of the six to eight. And we add the gnocchi and the spinach into this pan. And how much spinach are we adding? 160 grams. But actually all I would do, to be fair, okay. is two great big handfuls. I don't measure spinach ever. I don't measure it's, spinach. Because it's, it's, we're not following some carb, like like diet where you have to have a certain amount of carbs. That mm. uh, You can't go wrong with that's for, what's for spinach full of. Fibre and vitamins. And minerals. And loads of vitamins and minerals, isn't there? Yes, absolutely. So you can't... You can't go wrong, really. You don't end up looking like Popeye. <laughs> Shame. Well, well that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, so... So if yeah. anybody's interested in the macros in this, just to, to let you know, per portion is 480 calories, there's 27 grams of protein, this 61 grams of carbs, 4.4 uh, grams of fiber, 4.4 grams of salt, and 14.4 grams of fat. If you are somebody who looks at, monitors, tracks, likes to know, <laughs> um, it's not important. What is important that it is well balanced. They're starting to float. They're starting to float now, the are not um, getting in excited. In terms of uh, our main macros, which is uh, protein, carbohydrates, and, and fat. And for me, this is just super simple. If you were using chicken, personally, I wouldn't add the raw chicken to that mixture. I'd probably brown it off, fry it off, almost pretty much cook it, yeah. and then add just it add at it the end. Flavour it at the end, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, so are we ready to add the spinach then? Because I think all that gnocchi is floating. So I don't know if you can see the gnocchi is floating at the top of the pan there. It was at the bottom of the pan. Um, oh, got a bit frisky. Um, and Emma's just going to... They're very big handfuls, but they're well, well done, I think. Um, so we're just going to drain the gnocchi. Um, I'll let this start to wilt and melt. Um, you could put some kale in here as well if you wanted to, kale, spinach. And um, we wanted to pad it out some more, but it's good as it is. I, the oh, more veg, the better. I'm um, hoping you can, yeah, you can see how amazing that it's looks nice already. It's colourful. I'll let it, it just, out. No, don't waste any. Um, so yeah, wilt the spinach and then we can add the gnocchi once the spinach is uh, left. This, as I say, this gnocchi is gluten free for anybody here who is um, gluten, gluten intolerant. intolerant. Yeah. I'm really excited about lunch. I've been excited about lunch since we planned it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There you go. Um, okay, so literally just tipping in the gnocchi. Um, oops, and some extra water which didn't drain off. Oh, don't leave one behind. We'll be counting out the gnocchi clumps later. She's, <laughs> not, she's not telling <laughs> and a fair <laughs> I might not through. do it here, but I do do it at home. <laughs> to make sure Stuart has more than me, otherwise I'd eat more than him. <laughs> Um, I shouldn't eat the same as a six foot one man. <laughs> <gasps> Sorry, I love food. <laughs> yes, oh, but look, that, I mean, to be fair, that it can't, like, hi Michelle, you can't go wrong with that 
Um, it just, I'm properly salivating. It smells amazing. And I guess if um, you were vegetarian, so I'll just serve it up now. Vegan, you could use another source of protein, uh, like tofu, <coughs> tofu, <laughs> tofu, tofu, or tempeh. Um, there isn't as much in tofu and tempeh, so um, you have to be mindful of that, of where else in your day you get your protein from. Yeah. So I'll just serve some of this up without counting for a minute, <laughs> just so you can see it then served we'll up. Then when we camera, we fight, don't we? <laughs> yeah, we'll have a scrap, scrap then. Scrap on the floor behind you. Scrap <laughs> about how many prawns and how much gnocchi each of us has. Um, Make it red for the picture. Nice, pretty picture. <laughs> so that is, that is it. So it's two. Spicy prawn, spinach. Prawn. Tiger prawn. Gnocchi. And we're done. So that's it. So that was super speedy, super tasty, super nutritious, just super in every way. <laughs> thank you very much for being here. Yes, thank um, you. I'll go and take a photo of it and we'll go and fight over prawns and lots of pieces. <laughs> um, and uh, well, we're not in, we're not here in August, are we? We're not doing well, we this are, in August. We're not doing the live. We're not doing the live, <laughs> yeah, right here. And so we'll plan something really nice really, really in September. September. Um, if you wanting to know a little bit more about any of this kind of stuff, this is the kind of thing that I talk about and go into more detail on my Time for Change program or my Nutrition PT or whatever. So there's another pro there's a program going right now, which is a short one for the summer, but there's another one starting on the 7th of August. So if you've got any questions, want to get in touch, DM under here. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks everyone. Bye. <clears throat> What's that now? Post for 30 days. Oh, I thought they scheduled you on next time.